Hello students. So in this lecture, we'll discuss the time value of money. Uh, this is the basic basic concept of financial management. Which states that money loses value over time. So we'll uh, discuss this uh, uh, concept in detail in this video. So first of all, uh, for calculating time value of money, the first method we use is timelines. Timelines are basically uh, us a line on which we plot uh, different periods say 0, 1, 2 and 3 and we'll uh, check the say uh, we'll check the value of money at uh, different periods such as uh, it is say 100 here and if we uh, check this is 10 percent so it will be 1110 here then say 122 here then say 133 here so this is what we are doing is we are uh, checking the time value of money at different uh, periods of time at different point in time on this timeline. So it is an important uh, tool which is used in time value analysis. It is a graphical representation used to show the timing of cash flows. The first step in time value analysis is to set up a timeline. So this is the timeline and uh, you basically need to set up a timeline and then mark the uh, number of years on it and then uh, you have to basically check the interest rate which you are using over this timeline then you have the future values so future value states that uh, if a dollar if if uh, uh, if a dollar is say uh, if 1 dollar if a, if a uh, if a product is sold for one dollar today, right? Say it's a it's a pen. So if a pen is for one dollar, so def after one year or two year, this pen won't be. Uh, you won't be able to purchase this pen for one dollar. It will be of two dollars, right? So this is the future value, and this is the present value. So a dollar in hand today is worth more than a dollar to be received in the future because if you had it now, you could invest it, earn interest and end up with more than a dollar in the future. The process of going to a future value FE from present value is called compounding, right? So the amount to which a cash flow or series of cash flow will grow over a given period of time and compound it at a given interest rate. So the formula is FV is equal to PV into 1 plus I raised to power M. So present value is the uh, value of the dollar today. Compounding is basically the arithmetic process of determining the final value of a cash flow or series of cash flow when compounded interest is applied. Compound interest, see, occurs when interest is earned on prior uh, periods interest. Simple interest. So the formula of compound interest is basically uh, you earn an interest say you have uh, lended someone hundred dollars and he he needs to pay you ten dollar right as an interest so the total payment you will be receiving is one one ten dollar and you uh, said to him that don't pay me one one ten don't pay me uh, one one ten dollar and uh, uh, use this one and then pay me interest on that so next time he'll pay you the interest of eleven dollar so this is the compounding effect the interest is increasing due to increase in the value, right? So this value is increased due to this interest and this interest is increased due to increase in this value. This process is known as compound interest. Well, second one is a simple interest. Simple interest is that uh, I need to, uh, I have lended someone $100 and he is going to pay me $10, right? And I said, okay, give me $10. And next time you will again pay me interest on $100. And next time again, you will pay me an interest of $10. So this is simple interest, right? Okay, then uh, this is uh, our step-by-step -step approach uh, uh, where we'll be discussing uh, the timelines uh, and other methods used to calculate uh, this time value of money. 
So the first step is assume that you plan to deposit hundred dollar in a bank that guarantees five percent interest each year. How uh, much would you have at the end of three year? So basically, uh, we can calculate this by using formulas. Formula which uh, I have shown you in the last slide, plus uh, financial calculators can also be used. These are uh, not scientific calculators, but are called financial calculators because uh, they do have uh, built-in finance functions. And third one is spreadsheet. Spreadsheet means that you are uh, using Microsoft Excel or Google Sheet, and uh, there you are just typing the formula and uh, obtaining the uh, answer. So uh, in this video, so <clears throat> uh, in this slide, we'll uh, see all these three steps. So the timeline used to, uh, and the third one is timeline, and the fourth one is basic one is timeline, which we are discussing. So a timeline used to uh, find the fair value of hundred dollar compounded for three years at five percent, along with some calculation is shown. Multiply the initial amount and each succeeding amount by one point zero five. So how we obtain that? That is one. That is five percent. So it is equal to one point zero five. So this is multiplied by this. Uh, uh, this <coughs> factor we will obtain this one, and then this is again multiplied by one point zero five. We'll obtain this one, and this is multiplied by again one point zero five, and we'll get this one. Okay. So uh, the next thing is formula approach. So same formula we have uh, discussed on earlier slide. We'll just put the PV hundred here. This one. Then uh, the one plus interest rate, and then the power n because this is year one, two, and three years. So if uh, n is equal to three, we'll just put three here and we'll get this value. So uh, as you see that this is the same answer as uh, the second one, right? So this is basically the same answer as to this one. So uh, whether we use the formula approach or we use the uh, uh, timeline method. We got the same answer, and the third one is financial calculator. So, uh, if you uh, see a financial calculator timeline, it will be uh, looking like this. Uh, in n on n, you just put the uh, the three on i by y. You put uh, put the five. That that is basically the interest rate, interest or yield rate, and this is the present value, and this is payment. Payment is equal to zero. Basically, it is used for annuities. So you are not going to uh, <clears throat> uh, get the money in annuities. So this is the future value. Okay. So uh, third is uh, sp the fourth one is uh, spreadsheet. Spreadsheets are basically uh, Excel files uh, where you just go and put the formula in Excel and you'll get your answer simply. So spread uh, sheets are basically uh, you won't be able to use them in uh, exams because. They are more practical, practical, uh, practically used when you are actually uh, going into industry or uh, any financial uh, advisory firm. You will be using uh, these spreadsheets for calculation of future values. So basically, this is how a uh, spreadsheet looks like. So I have uh, drafted it for you. So basically, here you put your investment and same interest rate here and number of periods here. And then you'll uh, just uh, use this step-by-step -step approach, formula approach, calculator approach, and Excel approach. So all of them are resulting in the same answer. Okay, so uh, then uh, the second concept is present values. Present values basically the inverse of future values, and this process is known as discounting, right? Because you are discounting future value to present value, and if we move to present value to future value, this is known as compounding, as we discussed on the last slides. So this is discounting process, and uh, where uh, you are uh, you are basically uh, discounting this future value to present value using this formula. You can also calculate it uh, using the uh, all of the three methods using timelines. Uh, plus formulas, then calculator, and fourth one is Excel. So you can uh, use all of uh, these three four mediums to calculate the present values. Okay, so uh, finding the interest rate that is a very interesting thing because uh, if you see the formula that is F is equal to P V into one plus I into N. 
so gen uh, this formula you can find any of the uh, missing factor say uh, we have find, found the uh, fair value in the last slides present value in the last slides we can also find uh, i if we are given with n pv and fv we can also find n if we are, we are giving with uh, uh, interest rate uh, pv and fair value right so suppose we know pv fair value and n and we can uh, want to find i right so for example we know that a given bond has a cost of rupees 100 dollar uh, 100 dollar and that it will return 150 dollar after 10 years so this is the present value and this is the future value and this is n right so if you going to put the formula uh, if you are going to uh, uh, insert these inputs into the formula so future value is equal to 150 present value is equal to 100 into 1 plus i i is uh, we need to find that one and n is 10 so if you going to find this one so if here you go so if uh, you can take the log here and then 10 into log 1 plus i and log 1.5 and then log 1 plus i and when you'll take the anti log so you'll uh, get the answer of i here through normal calculations and then uh, unfortunately uh, the second thing is you can uh, also find it through a financial calculators more instantly because the, as you see that this is a complex question and some uh, complex equation sometimes you get a very uh, difficult answers here uh, say in very uh, very uh, in like a point a very uh, short values by very small values so it, it won't be uh, it won't be much easy for you uh, because uh, it involves some uh, complex algebraic functions so if you want to keep it simple because uh, most of the uh, students who are learning financial management don't know much about algebra so if if you don't know much about uh, these log functions and how uh, these rules can apply and how this 10 comes to here don't worry just go and uh, open the financial calculator and just uh, input the data there and you'll uh, be able to find the interest rate so uh, similarly if uh, if i is available pv is available and n uh, future, uh, future value is available you can also find the n here right you can uh, just you need to recategorize this for, uh, rearrange this formula and you will be able to find the n so uh, here we go so similarly we use a calculator here n i pmt and this future value right just needed to put the uh, these three inputs and this will be calculated automatically so yeah see here okay so a future value of an ordinary annuity so annuities uh, as we discussed earlier to annuities are basically the uh, fixed payments which are for a certain period of time so future value of annuity uh, annuity is basically uh, two types one is ordinary and the other one is due so order is that uh, you are paying in at the start of the uh, at the end of the month while due is you are paying at the start of the month so basically uh, there is a, for, uh, a small difference between their formulas so if you are going for ordinary annuity your formula will be future value is equal to payment divided by interest into 1 plus i into n minus 1 and if you are going for uh, say annuity due your formula will be modified like for including the uh, due factor that is 1 plus i just to uh, com- uh, compound it one more time so this is step by step approach so you just uh, put the inside the values here similarly and same use same the for, uh, use the same formula and you will get your answers because each payment occurs one period earlier whether annuity due all of the payments are in trust for an additional uh, period therefore the fair value of annuity due will gen- will be greater than uh, that of a similar uh, ordinary annuity so as you see that so here if we substitute the formula of this one so fv a is equal to uh, same formula pmt a T one plus i into i 
n minus 1 into 1 plus i. So say the same formula we have written here is for ordinary uh, annuity due. So the present value of an ordinary uh, annuity. So yeah, if we want to uh, if we want to check the present value. So this is for future value. And if we want to check present value, how we are going to do this just payment will will uh, rearrange one minus one plus I raised to power minus N into this. That's the formula of ordinary annuity. And if we want to check the formula of uh, annuity due, PV present value of annuity due, it will be like uh, PMT into one minus one plus I minus N plus one divided by I formula will be modified like this, right? Okay. So if you just put the inside the values here, you will get your answers. So uh, perpetuities are basically uh, fixed payments for a uh, unlimited period of time and their present value is found find through this formula. Uneven cash flows, a series of cash flows where the amount varies from one period to another. Thank you for uh, your attention. Thank you so much.